Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to fix my SQL database not appearing in Visual Studio 2017. So let's open first uh, Visual Studio 2017 and uh, hereafter go to Tools tab and uh, connect to database. So look at them. There is no any of my SQL database at your SQL Server or DBC data source, but my SQL Server database not appear. So let's so fix that issue. So go to uh, Google. At your we need to uh, two software. First, uh, write at your Google my MySQL for Visual Studio 2017. So this is the link MySQL, download MySQL for Visual Studio. So go there and uh, here after MySQL for Visual Studio 1.2.7. So in my uh, laptop I already installed MySQL. So here after We have to uh, download this file, Windows, or uh, this one, and here after being uh, downloaded, right here we have uh, two options: login, sign up. So this will take some time. So yeah, I'm going to direct click this link. So right here, my SQL for Visual Studio, it's uh, downloading. So it's uh, downloaded here. Now let's uh, click the exe file and here this is the setup wizard so click to next here we have uh, three different options typical install most common program feature recommended for most user and what the custom allow user to choose and complete so all program feature will install so I'm going to select to complete so right here I don't have any Problem with the disk space here. Yeah, click on install. So, installing MySQL for Visual Studio 1.2.7. Now, click on finish. Hereafter, we need to uh, download and install MySQL connectors. So, go there. Here after MySQL connector, so this is available for DBC, .NET, C++, Python, PHP. So I am going to use my SQL connector for Visual Studio. So we have to click, uh, select this option. A standardized database driven for .NET platform and development. Click there. And here after go down. Connector, NET, 6.0. 10.5 so this is the latest version here we have uh, three different uh, operating system source code Microsoft Windows mono so I'm going to use uh, this one because I am using Microsoft uh, uh, Windows operating system 10 so here after let's click on download button so the size of file is 2.1 MB so at here we have three different options so let's click on no thanks just start my download so right here the file is downloading so file is downloaded successfully let's click on exe file And here after this is setup wisdom. Next, click on next here. Typical custom or complete the same things. So let's click on complete here after click on install. So uh, my installing MySQL connector need 6.10.5 software. So it's uh, installing. And here after let's click on finish. Now next uh, let's go to or first refresh and let's go to Visual Studio 2017 and 
and you have to go to uh, tools tab and you click on connect to database so look at the this time mysql database it's come at here so this is the way we can import mysql database or uh, at the data source so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you